actually just got back from the DMV. Got all the title and registering being processed. Hopefully we have that back here shortly. Got the body dropped off for paint. It's being painted now. They told me it's going to take a week. I don't know why. It's just shoot it black, clear coat it, you're done. I don't know. Apparently they think they have other jobs to do. Whatever. So, while we're waiting on that, we are going to change out these triple trees. I don't know why I'm saying we. It's not like you're going to sit over here and wrench anything. I'm going to be doing all of it, it looks like. It's not a 14 millimeter, if you're wondering. But it is a 12 millimeter. Take that windshield off first. Not the mounting bracket or anything, but specifically just the windshield. Then we'll come back and uh, see what we got to do with those brackets. What options do we have? Holy cow, somebody put them on there. No, I don't have it jacked up or anything yet. I'm just getting all the accessory stuff off first. And then, uh, we'll put it up on the jack. Take the front fender off, take the front wheel off, take the disc brake calipers off. Brake hose, brake lines. The handlebars I'm gonna try not to. Um, I'm not going to take any of this apart unless I absolutely have to. Um, I'm not going to take it apart now, but I am going to probably take this apart. Because when everything gets tilted and laid back, I'm going to probably have to tilt the handlebars forward a little. But that will come after I fold everything up. So. Just get this apart. Looks like the nuts welded into the mounts. So it's just the bolts. And the lock washer. Or, nope, just a flat washer. Now again, this is just the stock silver silver star. Where did I get that from? <laughs> just the stock star um, it's the classic but it's the Silverado on top of it and basically that means it's got a little more chrome and it's got this windshield on it otherwise it's just the classic now the custom does not have the windshield and it doesn't have the chrome front there doesn't have the chrome tins around the, the forks the tubes um, from what I understand it has just the single headlight mount to where this one has the dual uh, bolts for that and we'll get to that we'll probably take the bulb out unplug the wires Sure exactly what we're gonna have to do to make it mount and fit on the new uh, triple trees. Uh, if you saw the unboxing video, you saw all the instructions that came with it. Uh, kind of like the trick itself. None. <laughs> None. So if you're not mechanically inclined, you don't know how to spin a wrench. You're not into figuring out puzzles, don't do it. Get someone else to do it for you. I mean, it's not hard at all, but you know, there's some people that can't even change a, a bicycle tire or change out the inner tube on a bicycle. You can't do that. Well, honestly, I don't know why you own a bike. Well, let me rephrase that. If you can't do it, it's one thing. You know, maybe you got injured or you've gotten older now. 
But if you simply just don't know how, and you don't want to know how, I don't know why you own a bike. But that's none of my business. All right, so the windshield's free. And just so you can see up and close, there's actually three adjustments. It's about an inch and a half difference. You can lower it an inch and a half, or you can raise it an inch and a half. And it was on the highest setting. Now, obviously, you could put little plates in here, and you know, you make it as high as you want or as low as you want. Um, what we're going to be end up doing, I think, is there's going to be, uh, I don't know what I'm going to use, probably a thin L, aluminum L bracket, because we don't want it tilted back into my face with those new triple trees. We're going to want to, you know, stand it back up. So we'll be working with that later. So yeah, just that alone's a big deal. And these brackets looks like they go down and screw down underneath the headlight. And then the top part of it screw in with the handlebar mounts. So they're not going anywhere at the moment. Turn signals bolt onto the front of that triple tree. And there are no holes on the new ones for those. I could get them drilled and tapped and put them on there. But I did buy some other ones that will just mount on the forks um, themselves. We'll take a look at those options. We might do something different. Hmm. I guess really we're at... Yeah, that's the headlight because the rest of this all goes down underneath. So let's un unscrew that headlight. Yeah, those are not coming out. Thought I'd bring you up here for a little up and closey. The two screws. Set this down here. Two screws here on either side are what actually hold this in. Those two Phillips screws at the bottom are actually what adjust. And then this was just plugged into it. And then you can see where these lights wires go down into the turn signal. So just on this little bracket there. And then you got those three Allen bolts that actually hold this assembly on. And then uh, you can get to the bracket behind it once you get that off. And you see these down here that hold the turn signals on. We'll get that all separated. I just thought I'd bring you up in here up and close so you can see that. So yeah, you got left, right, parking light, or driving lights on ground, and then the headlight. The headlight we will not be messing with. Alright, so like I said, just brought you in for an up and close see of that. I'll go ahead and get this bracket off show you what it looks like before I do any more and I'll get the turn signals off show you that that looks like before I get it done now looking at these yeah you can see how it's one wire coming in and going to both that blue one so that's obviously the the running lights the brown one going off to the right or the R right so it'll be the left turn signal green one going off to the left will be our right turn signal and the black being split again to both is the ground and then the headlights you got green yellow and black yellow being the high green being the low black again being ground so let's get this out of the way and then i'll be back another little up and closey got that headlight mount bracket out of there. It's just these three bolts. Unplug the wires. They just slide out for the turn signals, tail or marker lights, headlight. Won't be doing anything different, so we're going to just put that off to the side. These go off to the turn light, turn signals, the marker lights. This one goes to the right, it's the brown. This one's the green, goes to the left. You just pull this off. Get your socket wrench in here and take these two out of the way. And then, 
we won't do anything more with that until we actually get this bottom tree out and then we'll take the headlight mounts and windshield bottom mount out and see what we're going to do what we're going to do after we get the turn signals out of the way I'm going to take the the risers off that hold the handlebars get this up out of the way looking at these wire looms cable management and it looks like we almost have to take them apart I'm going to try not to we'll see how that goes I'm just going to let them hang and hopefully they'll be out of the way enough that we can get those races out of there change out the bearings we are going to be putting in those tapered bearings the new bolt for the, the stem and then the new forks it's going to be interesting right now we're going to get the turn signals out of the way now I'll be back okay I wasn't going to take that bracket out until I got to it but it actually was a lot easier than I thought there was two nuts right under here that went up to those two bolts I was able to get them underneath with the socket wrench got the headlight mount the bottom windshield wiper windshield wiper windshield bracket out loosen the two nuts here holding the handlebars on the brake line and clutch line and throttle line um, bracket is loose I got the top windshield bracket out of the way pretty easy and that's where I was saying that these don't look like they come apart in any way no they're all welded in there I know I got you kind of close sorry Tape's a little frayed here. I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah, but I'm looking. The top one's going to be just fine. But the new uh, triple tree mount is completely shiny and flush billet aluminum on the bottom. Now I'm not too worried about the brackets holding the brake lines. I can manufacture something. But the brake lines themselves this distribution there's nowhere to bolt it that's kind of that's an issue hmm now I was not planning on taking the brake lines apart in any way or doing anything to the lines they've already been flushed and changed with brand new fluid I mean if I have to it's not a not an issue it's just a banjo bolt hole here and that's all there is all right now I'm gonna go look at a manual and I will be back thank you so I went ahead got it up on this jack stand you see the oh, it was off the ground about an inch plenty of room to mess with and I just went underneath right there where the frame is put a little piece of wood in there to get both sides and lifted it up just enough. What we're going to do first is take the wheel off. Then we'll get the calipers off. Get the fenders off. Bracket off to hold the brake lines. We'll just hold, wire these up over here to the highway bars. Get them out of the way. Fender and wheels out. Turn this back. And then the same thing here. Just loosen this and then this set screw inside on both sides. And once that's done, um, come up here and we'll get these broke loose and we'll actually take the, the forks off. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to take the top one off to get this bracket out of there, or this tin. I went and looked at the other one. I don't know what I'm going to do on the bottom. I'm going to have to come up with something to put that brake line on. Uh, I don't know. I was looking at it. They're awfully close to the same ones the headlight mounts use. They're actually just a little bit narrower. I don't know if maybe I can put a little piece of angle iron on there with the headlight mount give this something to screw into or make a bracket we'll figure that out when we get there but yeah 
not too bad. Actually, had these broke off in one of my other videos. I was actually tightening this up. You can see it's actually pretty loose when it's off the ground. But uh, just a little look see of where we're at, where we're going. Um, I do not want to unhook any of these cables unless I absolutely have to. Um, I should be able to take this this top triple tree off and then these should just be able to come out over the top of everything but I want to get the tire off oh main reason you take it off the ground hopefully you already know this um, is you want to get the full extension of those forks because if they're compressed and you take this nut off while there's tension on it it's going to shoot straight up so with it fully extended there's no pressure on it these typically you don't have to uninstall or unscrew Unless you like putting extensions on, or in my case, I'm actually changing that cap because it'll be hidden in the side there, and I'll go into the details when I do that. But uh, yeah, make sure you have them fully extended if you ever take this bolt out. Just uh, yeah, just a little bit of caution there. And then otherwise, the uh, the windshield mount that I was actually worried about looks like it should be pretty easy. I might have to do something so it tilts back so it's not laying down you know we want to tilt up to block the wind and the bugs more or less the big issue now is the brakes but I think I got that figured out we put a little piece of angle iron with the headlight and then one behind that and that'll give us something just to screw them in I mean there's no weight to it I think it weighs what two maybe three ounces there's not much there to too much worry about and then these holders back here for the, the cables may not actually need them the way this is going to be uh, raked out um, but we'll see kind of looks like they're all kind of inside that one bracket looks like they're all well it might be separate I'll have to get it apart and see actually and then go from there So right now I'm just going to start working on that wheel, get that out of the way, and we'll be back. Actually a little change in plans looking at this. I'm actually going to have to take the fender off first to get this out of the way. Take these two bolts off to get the calipers out of the way because the wheel I can't lift it high enough to get it out from under. So I gotta have that fender off first. And then I have to have the calipers off to get this disc out of there. So yeah, we're gonna take the fender off first, get this out of the way, get the calipers up, just wire them up here, then we'll take the wheel off. <laughs> Alright. Let me get the, the fender off and then we'll be back.